Hello friends, welcome to the Cold War Prepper. My name is Lee. <clears throat> Still trying to get my voice back uh, from the disease, so apologize for that, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, gosh, it's been a wonderful last 48 hours, just 96 hours. Um, a couple of great things have happened. So first off, I had a, a, a recommendation by Cynthia of Biggs Family Prepping, and she and I had a conversation. She recommended some homeopathic uh, solutions for the disease that my wife and I tested positive for. Same, I, I tested positive the same day the president did, then I tested negative the day that he tested positive the second time. So, uh, you know, my quarantine was over, went this morning to our men's group and had breakfast and uh, then at 1140, one of, the, one of the members said, oh, by the way, I was sitting next to you and, and my wife tested positive this morning. So I may be a carrier and I go, oh, oh gosh, not again. I, I, I hope I don't, I hope nothing happens, but anyhow. Uh, thank you, Cynthia, for that. And while we're talking about Cynthia Biggs, uh, her son Nathan has been uh, is in the Army, and he's been deployed to points unknown. And uh, so I'm just going to ask you to do me a favor. Add him to your prayer list. Uh, add both him and his mother, Cynthia, to your prayer list. And, and uh, you know, let's, let's pray for his safe return and, and uh, to, to ease any fears or, or concerns that the mother might have of her son in a potentially... Um, hazardous area. Let's put it that way. Um, thank you so much to all of my wonderful followers, Prepping by Faith, Van City Prepper, Uncle Al, um, Bouger Prepper, uh, Apartment Prepper, Linda's kitch, uh, Prepper Kitchen. I mean, gosh, there's just so many phenomenal, outstanding, fantastic people who, such an integrated community that, that kept on wishing me well and, and, and concerns about how Helen and I were doing. And just what a wonderful group to be affiliated with. Thank you so much for the honor of, of knowing you and, and being able to uh, say that I'm affiliated with you because it's been a wonderful experience. Um, I had another, uh, I had a conversation with Maggie LB and then she and I ended up speaking for about an hour and a half on the phone. And, uh, but oh wow, she's got a group going in Central South uh, Florida and they start off with a Bible study. Then from the Bible study, they go into teaching each other homesteading skills. Uh, gardening and cooking and canning and all this kinds of stuff and then they end the day with with card games so you know, it looks like she's got a nice little tight-knit community what an example I mean way to build a community so uh, I learned an awful lot from her and, and uh, then I sent her a picture of my uh, tower garden and you know the worms help with the de you have a composting area in the middle and that's all natural no fertilizers or anything else and the worms kind of do all the fertilizing for you as they also help with the composting. But now we're in day 55 in a row of 100 plus degree weather. So I have fried worms. And then the other problem is when we had snowmageddon, I had worm sickles. So, you know, trying to keep the worms at the right temperature for this garden tower is kind of difficult. But what a great thank you for, for the, the uh, fantastic conversation that we had. Um, then I had a new guy who Uncle Al recommended and uh, did he come over and check me out and so his name is david lynn uh prepper principal and that's p-r-i-n-c-i-p-a-l remember the pal is the person so the the, the school teacher type of a uh, principal and uh, so i watched a couple of his mre uh reviews and and i'm going to recommend his channel i'll have it down below hopefully he'll show up to our saturday grow your channel uh because what we do there is is we have one hour dedicated where my moderators put the, the links to all the people who are in the chat and we ask that you support them and subscribe to them and then they are going to subscribe to you. Uh, so uh, we're just trying to help each other grow our channels. And, and David, uh, uh, David's right now at about 409, I believe, uh, followers. So we can get that up. Speaking of which, um, I am now affiliated with, uh, shelf, um, with uh, uh, Nutrient Survival. And uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you that uh, they have a fantastic YouTube, YouTube channel with only 2,000 followers. I binge watched it over this last weekend and, and they have some, Randy Wurst is, is a ex-Special Forces guy. He gives all kinds of fantastic training and tips. Uh, then they have interviews with Jack from uh, uh, Black Scout Survival. They interviewed Rudy with uh, Alaska Prepper and uh, you know, so uh, just phenomenal people. Uh, when you call and talk to them about an order, just the most helpful people out there. It's unbelievable. Um, so I want to recommend, I'm going to have their link down below too, so I recommend that you go watch them. 
uh, just all kinds of beautiful stuff there. Um, you know, and I learn something new every day. Um, then this morning I had a 20 minute video from uh, Stephen C. Smith, and that's the guy that we're reading his series, uh, the, the Stonemont series. And so we're doing um, book three, The Renewal, and that's going to be the last Thursday of the month that we get together for that book club review. But uh, his, his whole thing was don't worry too much about what you can't control and, and what's going on over in Taiwan. And so it kind of, it was really a very good uh, soliloquy by, by Mr. Smith. And, and I think, you know, we need to, to take his admonishment very well. And that is, let's focus on what we can change. So it reminded me of two things. Number one, uh, the first thing it reminded me of was the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity. Uh, to accept the things I can't change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference between the two. So I can't handle, I, I can't control what's going to happen over there or a response. What I can do is re renew, refresh, and support the plans on what if. So I can say, sit here and say, what if something happens? Do I have all this taken care of? And if not, do I need to get it taken care of right now? So focus on solutions and not on problems. And, uh, you know, because every time, every minute you spend worrying about whether something will or won't happen is a minute that you aren't devoting to preparing to survive that whatever happens. Just a second. Come on, Addy. Addy, Addy, let's go. In, now. She's not going to answer. Um, but um, so anyhow, um, great video. And then, uh, and then I, I told him, you know, I said, when I started this back in 1962, we've had all these different threats. We've had economic failures. We've had uh, recessions. We've had uh, stock market declines. We've had, you know, I was afraid of the group of Soviet forces, Germany. Uh, I was in the area where we thought the Third Shock Army and the Eighth Guards Army would come into the Folder Gap and down into Bavaria. Uh, 20 divisions in, in East Germany at that time, 20 Soviet divisions, that is, five divisions in Czechoslovakia uh, with the Central Group of Forces. And so, you know, we, we had the opportunity to have 15 divisions against our two U.S. divisions. And so we were constantly worried about that. There's so much you can worry about. And, you know, I never thought about pandemics or anything else. But, uh, I, I, of course, I lost a lot of money with the Bunky Hunt Brothers and, and uh, the silver market back in 81. Um, so... The time you spend worrying is the time you're not spending preparing, and we need to worry about preparing. And so part of that is I've readjusted my budget, so I'm spending 30% of my budget on things that I can, con well, let me start this over again. I, I reassessed, there are so many threats and so many different points within a timeline uh, that I, I sat down and said, what are the things that they all have in common? So if I can concentrate on three, four, or five things, uh, then Will that help me get through almost any calamity? And so I, I, I found five things that I think help me make it through almost any calamity. Water, food, medicine or first aid, and uh, um, shelter, <laughs> almost, I'm forgetting here, and then uh, the fifth one would be self-protection or, or self-defense. And so I think those are going to be common across anything. Um, and so, you know, I'm, we just read Selko Begovich's book on SHTF, and he said, you know, make sure you have antibiotics. And so I'm now affiliated with this company as well. But, uh, you know, he talks about a guy who used an ounce of gold to get a regimen of antibiotics for, wife, for his wife to keep her alive uh, in Bosnia. And so I think that's going to become very important that you have access to medical uh, stuff uh, that's going to be critical for your survival. I've also re kind of readjusted my budget, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend 30% of my budget on um, Thrive Life, and I put my order in yesterday, because it always ships on the 4th, and uh, so I, I ordered banana slices, sausage crumbles, ground beef, zucchini, tomato sauce, and shrimp, and uh, then I'm putting 30% of it into sh uh, Nutrient Survival, I'm putting 30% of it into Walmart HEB, HEB is our local big grocery store here in Central Texas. And then 10% is going to be set aside and it's going to be say, you know, if I come across something on sale on either Amazon or Walmart uh, websites, then I'll, I'll use that 10% for that. But focus on the things you can control. And that's what I can control is feeding my family, making sure that I have water, making sure I have the antibiotics, making sure I have uh, uh, first aid, shelter, you know, electricity and uh, self-defense. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, and that's 
kind of how I'm going to focus on things. So thank you, Stephen, for that uh, reminder of, of we need to plan, we need to have priorities, and we need to focus on what we can do and, and not worry about what we can't change. Um, so just uh, don't forget, okay, so we're going to start Tuesday the 9th. Uh, we're going to start our uh, nonfiction book club, uh, the first introduction, first 30 pages to surviving the economic collapse. Uh, this is Argentina in 2001 uh, by Firfal Aguirre. Then on the last Thursday of the month, we're going to do book three of the Stonemont series by Stephen C. Smith, and that's the renewal. And then this coming Saturday, the 6th at 8 o'clock, is Grow Your Channel. You're going to show up. You're going to support every, sub, uh, subscribe to everybody else who's on. They're all going to subscribe to you. That way we help each other grow. So remember, we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together. Remember, togetherness is the key. Take care. Bye-bye.